Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Baylor Bears. Number zero is a player who can handle playing under any pressure situation. He's a star player that we'll keep our eyes on tonight. This young man can really put the ball in a hole. Whether he's inside or outside, he's money. The Bears will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Bears are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for him? Here are a couple keys, Brad. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Thirdly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. That was absolutely phenomenal! The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Right. Four, two. Four, two. Trying to pack it inside. He looks at the hoop, and he'll kick it back outside. The small forward gets the pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. He'll regroup the offense. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Looks at the three. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The fake. He attempts a jump hook. And in and out. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Harvey is fired up right now emotionally. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Working it around the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Inside, the power forward takes the feed. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't get any help from his teammates. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He fakes the shot. Double team now, that angle. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The small forward takes the pass. With the fake. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Almost lost a basketball. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Inside. Turns it over. High post flashes for the ball handler. There's a high screen. The ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Now they work it around the perimeter. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Fires away. Oh, yes.
Fed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Pressure that basketball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Great anticipation defensively. For the bucket, Baylor is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nestler. We've got a good one going. The center gets the ball. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. That's an 11 0 run. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The frustration right there. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. <laughs> tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard with the ball. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He rejects it. Here we go on the break. Nice hop. Out of play. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Get that sucker out of the game, man. There it is, Jam City. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Wide open for the shot. He puts up the tray. Way off target. Intercepted. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. High post flashes for the opportunity. Goes for the deep one. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. For the bucket, perfectly executed. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He wants a three. Scorches the net. Oh, 
Picked out of the air. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Foul shot is not good. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, what a strip, Red. Dump it inside. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. And the fans are going wild. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. I saw him play for that one. He got the good pass and threw it down, baby. off goes up for two he drains the shot Lee in the paint there they come with a double team to stop it and the ball goes out of play let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews Aaron Brad, the bench seems pretty confused down here. There is a lot of encouragement from his teammates, but they haven't found a way to get him going. And in order to hold on to this lead, they need to find a way and fast. Thanks, Aaron. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the outside. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. He comes away with it. For two. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Number 32 with the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. From beyond the arc. Drains the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Here's a flash from the high post. Way out on top. 
controlling the ball. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Unloads a three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. And he'll kick it back outside. Penetrates and kicks back from left to the circle. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Throws it up, leans in, drops the bucket despite the harm. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Now they work it around the perimeter. The post flashes up high if he wants it. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. Gave it up. Tries for two. Nice shot. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Another turnover. We're not talking apple turnovers either. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Nice fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. He fires from long range. You bet you. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Here's a double team. For the bucket, doesn't go. Trying to draw the foul. The Bears are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. He tries the three ball, he gets the bucket.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Hickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. Blocks the shot. It's a fast break possibility. Dump it inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Fake. With the jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Had a momentary look from three-point land. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The dribble gives it up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the trifecta. Off the mark. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Up and inside. He shoots from right of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. He goes with a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Shot clock is dead. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Goes up for two. He drains it. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops like you. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. They didn't realize my partner was a high rise. <laughs> At halftime, the Bears are up by four. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? This doesn't spark the charge for me, Brad. Trust me, they're going to be young men looking to top that in the second half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Baylor shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. He 
He shoots from outside. He gets that one to fall. They work it around the perimeter. Good fake. And a shot block. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Jumps in. Buried it. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. They'll work it around the arc. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. There's the trap. It's stolen. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Lee makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. Terrible free throw. Second shot, good. The Jayhawks are trailing by 14. Look at that spacing. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Take a look at this. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. From three-point land, sinks the shot. The Jayhawks are behind by 15. And now they'll bring it up. Look at that student body. They are going mad. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Stolen away. With authority. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. One too many dribbles and a steal. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low block. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. 
Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Dribble gives it up. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. The Bears are out of rhythm, and they just look frustrated out there right now. They're going to have to turn things around fast, Brad. Looking for contact. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. In the paint. Goes up for two. He hits it. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fakes it. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Baylor are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. And he'll kick it back outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Dick, they're doing a great job offensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'll work it around the arc. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, 
He takes the three. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Look at that spacing. From way outside. Way off target. Tries for two. Gave it up. Intercepted. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. In and out. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Harvey, four, two. Up and inside. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. For two, perfectly executed. Double team now, Matt Angle. Got an open look if he wants it. He unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He launches a three. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Puts the ball loose. Tries for two. Up and in. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Taken away. Tinsley handles the feed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. There's the rejection. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. He bombs from outside. He gets the bucket to fall. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. They work the perimeter. Dump it inside. Hey, 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 hey. 
Baylor are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The center takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. From downtown. That's good. Take another look at that play. Picked out of the air. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. They're off into transition. Possibility coming. Goes up for two. Knocks it down. Working it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Scorches the net. for three. Sinks it. Show the replay on that. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Steals a pass. Full court pass. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Here's a double team. I think they're trying to make a statement. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. There's the trap. The Bears have got to continue to get in the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Double team waiting there. He takes the rebound. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. Well, it's simple. They came out, executed a game plan, and ended up on top. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. At the free throw line. He hits the first shot. Both free throws go. They move it into the front court. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For two, the ball goes out of play. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Picks off the lazy pass. 
up and inside. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Tries one from three-point land. Way off target. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. He comes away with it. Timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. needed breather with that timeout. He shoots from the top of the circle. Kansas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Now it's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. With the freebie. Missed it. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Makes the second. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. after that timeout, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Outside jumper. He drains it. I need to see that again, Brad. And yet another foul. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Bryant receives the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. They should try for an early foul here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points.
the second. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Shot clock is dead. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He steps up to the line. No doubt about it. He makes his second shot. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. He goes for three. Sinks it. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooting. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Misses both of them. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when to foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Makes his first. Second shot. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. We're ready to get back to the action. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Robs him of the ball. And yet another foul. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Second shot. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip him for this lead before it's too late. We're about ready to hit the floor. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Baylor walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.